I like the challenge of documentaries that you don't know what you're going to get and you have to make a story out of that and you have to make a true story out of that and that's really difficult. My boy, filming me. I didn't ever aim to get into documentaries. I studied film and English at university and I wanted to make feature films or write things, I don't quite know. But I left university and I wanted to get a job and I got a job as a runner on a film set and there were hundreds of people. And suddenly I was apprenticed to the tea boy. Uh, I couldn't even make a cup of tea. And, and it wasn't for me, I wanted to be more involved. And instead I got a job as working in television on a documentary and suddenly there's five of you. And suddenly the cup of tea you're making or the, the whatever you're doing is important because there's only five of you and you can be much more involved. It just seemed a better path to take. And my plan was to make a documentary about my grandma, who's a writer called Beryl Bainbridge. She's kind of well known. Uh, she had told me that she wanted to make something about her life and the end of her life. So I started borrowing cameras and borrowing tapes from the, the TV company I was working for. And I started filming her, doing interviews with her. And she, during the course of this, she told me the story of her family, which is that everyone died when they were 71. And so she was convinced she was going to die when she was 71. And she was about to become 71. So I filmed her for what was supposedly her last year. Although we always knew she'd be all right and she gets through it. But it, it, gave us, it gave a good structure to be able to tell the story of her life and to be able to talk about death and talk about the past and, you know, kind of gave me a framework. And eventually I had a, a, a sort of five minute taster tape, a trailer, which I sent to the BBC. And eventually someone in the BBC saw it and rang me up and said, There's something there, we'd like to give you the money to finish it. And they did. If your mother dies at 71 of a heart attack and your father dies at 71 of a heart attack, nine relatives who all died more or less at the age of 71, I mean, why should you be the exception? After Beryl's last year, I was suddenly taken seriously as a documentary filmmaker, whereas I'd been making TV of variable quality property shows, things like that. And after that, I was offered projects as a director, and that's what I've been doing ever since. The most difficult thing is all of it and, and none of it. It's all quite simple stuff, really. The fundamental thing you need to get right is getting people to trust you, and, and, and relating to people, which is really, you know, it's kind of obvious stuff. But basically getting people to open up and trust you that, so that they can open up to you, you know, in front of a camera. My advice to anyone starting would be to film your own family, which is what I did. Partly because they will open up to you. Um, and, and you, you know, they're there, they're there, and they're probably quite interesting. Everyone is probably quite interesting and you probably know them better. But if you ask them the questions you wouldn't normally ask them and you use the camera as a way of putting distance between you, you are both close to them and distanced from them. And so, you know, the world is not going to be interested in everyone's families. But I think as an as a, as a exercise to learn your craft and as a way of, of, of becoming a filmmaker and, and, and making mistakes, it's a brilliant place to start.